In 1962, Ebony Magazine, one of the most influential black publications in the United States, found itself at the center of a major controversy. The magazine had published an illustration depicting Jesus Christ as a black man, which sparked outrage and calls for the magazine to be banned. This incident shone a light on the tensions surrounding the representation of race and religion in America during the civil rights movement. The story of Ebony's E Black Jesus E reveals how the struggle for racial equality extended into debates over the identity and appearance of religious figures. It highlights the power of visual media to challenge traditional norms and provoke strong reactions. Even 60 years later, this episode remains a fascinating and controversial chapter in the history of African American media and the ongoing debates over the depiction of race in religious art. Ebony Magazine was founded in 1945 by John H. Johnson, a pioneering African American publisher. Johnson had previously found success with his first magazine, Negro Digest, which provided a platform for black writers, thinkers, and artists during the Jim Crow era. With Ebony, Johnson sought to create a publication that would celebrate and uplift the black community in the United States. Unlike many mainstream magazines of the time that either ignored or negatively portrayed African Americans, Ebony offered positive, affirming coverage of black life, culture, and achievement. From its inception, Ebony positioned itself as a voice for racial pride and empowerment. The magazine's covers frequently featured successful, accomplished black individuals, ranging from politicians and entertainers to business leaders and civil rights activists. Ebony also dedicated substantial coverage to the growing movement for racial equality, chronicling the key events and figures of the civil rights struggle. Under Johnson's leadership, Ebony quickly became one of the most widely read magazines in the black community. By the early 1960s, it had a circulation of over one million copies per month, making it one of the most successful African-American-owned businesses of that time. In December 1962, Ebony published an illustration on its cover that would spark a national controversy. The image, titled E the Black Messiah, should depicted Jesus Christ as a dark-skinned, Afrocentric figure. The illustration, created by artist Hal Jackson, featured Jesus with prominent African features, including full lips, a wide nose, and tightly curled hair. The decision to depict Jesus as a black man was a deliberate choice by Ebony's editorial team. They wanted to challenge the traditional, Eurocentric portrayal of Jesus that had long dominated religious art and imagery in the United States and Europe. As the civil rights movement gained momentum, many African Americans were growing increasingly frustrated with the pervasive whitewashing of religious figures and symbols. Ebony's A Black Jesus-y cover was part of a larger effort by the magazine to affirm black identity and representation in all spheres of American life, including religion. The editors believe that offering an alternative visual depiction of Jesus could help empower African Americans and counter the notion that Christianity and its central figures were the exclusive domain of white people. The reaction to the Joe Black Messiah you cover was swift and intense. Many white Christian organizations and individuals condemned the illustration as blasphemous and unacceptable. Some went as far as to call for a ban on Ebony magazine arguing that the depiction of Jesus as a black man was a sacrilegious distortion of the biblical account. Representatives of the Catholic Church were among the most vocal critics. The National Catholic Welfare Conference, a prominent Catholic organization, issued a strong rebuke, stating that the coverage could be offensive to many Christians he and you may tend to divide rather than unite people of goodwill. Some conservative Protestant leaders also joined the chorus of condemnation. The Rev. Billy Graham, one of the most influential evangelical preachers of the era, denounced the ebony cover, declaring that it was a deterrent to the gospel and it could do great harm to the Christian faith. The ebony editorial team stood firm in the face of this backlash. They argued that their intent was not to offend or blaspheme, but rather to challenge the long-standing tradition of depicting Jesus as a white European figure. They maintained that Jesus, as a historical figure from the Middle East, was most likely to have had dark skin and Middle Eastern features. Moreover, the Ebony team saw the depiction of a black Jesus as a powerful symbol of racial inclusion and representation within Christianity. They believed that offering an alternative visual portrayal of Christ could help attract more African Americans to the faith and make them feel more welcomed and represented within the church. Despite the intense criticism, Ebony refused to back down. The magazine's editor-in-chief, John H. Johnson, defended the decision, 
stating that the illustration was not intended to be disrespectful, but rather to just stimulate thought and discussion. The Ebenezer Black Jesus controversy did not occur in a vacuum. It was part of a broader cultural and political landscape in which the struggle for racial equality was playing out on multiple fronts, including in the realms of religion and visual representation. During the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s, African Americans were increasingly asserting their right to be seen, heard, and respected as equals in American society. This included challenging the dominant white-centric norms and narratives that had long pervaded American culture, including in the realm of religion. Many African American theologians and religious leaders were actively working to reframe the Christian faith in a way that was more inclusive and reflective of the black experience. They argued that the traditional Eurocentric depiction of Jesus and other biblical figures did not accurately represent the racial and ethnic diversity of the ancient Middle East. This effort to Jafricanize Jew Christianity was part of a broader movement known as a black theology, which sought to reclaim and reinterpret the Christian faith through the lens of black liberation and empowerment. Figures like the Reverend James Cone, a pioneering black theologian, were at the forefront of this intellectual and spiritual revolution. The Ebenezer Black Jesus E cover can be seen as a visual manifestation of this broader push for racial representation and inclusion within the Christian tradition. By depicting Jesus as a dark skinned, Afrocentric figure, the magazine was challenging the long standing whitewashing of religious imagery and asserting the right of African Americans to see themselves and their experiences reflected in the central symbols of their faith, t the same time, the controversy over the Yea Black Messiah. Cover must be understood in the context of the broader civil rights movement and the struggle for racial justice in America. In the early 1960s, the battle for desegregation, voting rights, and economic equality was reaching a fever pitch, with activists and leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X leading the charge. The ebony cover came at a time when many white Americans, particularly those in positions of power and influence, were deeply threatened by the growing assertiveness and militancy of the civil rights movement. The idea of a black Jesus E was seen by some as a direct challenge to the traditional, white-dominated power structures within American society, including in the realm of religion. Thus, the backlash against the black messiah Je cover was not just about the depiction of Jesus, but about the broader struggle over the place of African Americans in American society and the ongoing battle for racial justice and representation. The aftermath and legacy of the controversy, 5,000 characters, despite the Intense criticism and calls for a boycott, Ebony Magazine stood firm in its decision to publish the Ye Black Messiah Ye cover. The editorial team argued that their intent was not to offend or blaspheme, but rather to challenge the long-standing tradition of depicting Jesus as a white European figure and to offer a more racially inclusive and representative portrayal of the central figure of Christianity. In the aftermath of the controversy, Ebony received significant support from within the African-American community. Many black pastors, theologians, and laypeople praised the magazine for its courage in presenting an alternative visual representation of Jesus that resonated with their own faith and cultural experiences. Some even went so far as to suggest that the Je Black Messiah Je cover could help attract more African Americans to Christianity by making them feel more welcomed and represented within the faith. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., for example, expressed his support for the ebony cover, noting that it was your legitimate and understandable expression of the search for racial identity and the desire for a savior who can be identified with. However, the backlash from white Christian organizations and leaders continued unabated. Some conservative Protestant groups, including the National Association of Evangelicals, reiterated their calls for a ban on Ebony magazine, arguing that the A Black Jesus E cover was a blasphemous distortion of biblical truth. The Catholic Church also maintained its strong opposition to the illustration.